This Pride of Lions is uh, called the Equality Pride. They were born in a pride in the main park, but they've split off and formed a pride of their own. We've been monitoring all these adult females since they were cubs themselves. My name is Jonathan Murphy. I'm a researcher in the Zambian Carnivore Program. I'm the project site manager for the Longo Project. Wire snaring is, uh, is poaching, it's illegal. There is no legal form of that. A snare is basically like a wire noose that's set up and often the targeted species are like antelope, like kind of like your deer in America, but like, you know, your impala, your cuckoo. And the unfortunate thing is often, you know, these trails that are used by impala, or cuckoo, lions, giraffes, elephants, they also use those trails. So then you get bycatch where a lion might walk into a snare. Lions and elephants, uh, they very often are able to break the tree that it's anchored to, and then they're carrying around the snare. But as it cuts in and digs in, it can cause a lot of damage. And if it's not caught within you know, a week, two weeks, three weeks, I mean, it can very rapidly turn bad. Probably the biggest threat to lions would be other lions. But there's also an even more growing concern. There's a lot of different illegal markets that threaten lion population sustainability. So one thing is, you know, lions are harvested, they are hunted for trophies, and then direct threats via snaring, poaching, impacts of hunting, and then loss of habitat. Same near Chippen Valley. Some of the most rewarding moments is being able to watch these animals and they're not bothered by us, nor are they really changing their behavior for us. So we're just able to observe and able to see a window into their life and learn about them and hopefully learn something that can help protect them and their families from you know, generations to come.